Hey guys, how's it going? This is Crypto Buddy here, and I'm excited to bring to you guys our first video on our new channel, uh, showing off our first mining rig. <laughs> Let's take a look. All right, now before we go in and deep dive into our tips and tricks and look at some of the items that you can get at the moment to save you on some of your production costs, um, let's go ahead and look at some of the cars that we currently have in our mining rig right now. So as you guys can see in front, we have here our 3090 RTX Founders Edition. Um, I'm actually happy because I was actually just able to get this car last week and just added it on. So it's definitely a good addition to the mining rig right now um the only thing that i definitely want to point out to you guys is that um there is a myth that these cards run hot and i just want to let you guys know that around this area here which is where the thermal paste is that's typically hot to the touch i'm talking about 90 to 85 degrees um to the touch however if you look on the computer and you try and follow the temps it looks cool butter cool so just keep that guys in mind um when you do or if you're looking to purchase a 3090 founders edition uh moving on we do have here our oris 3070 master edition as you can see by the custom led that is there um this is one of my favorite cards it was actually the first card i was able to acquire um, I got it off of eBay, <laughs> I imagine, uh, for $9.45, I believe it was sometime in January. It's an amazing card, um, one of my least favorites now that I've added some to the rig, but I do like the overall look, and here's a look at the RGB in the front. Moving on, we have our Zotac 3070, this is the Ampalo edition. One of my favorite cars, as you can see, they have RGB leading from the front to the back. So if you put this in a case, it is definitely one of the better looking cards, if you were to ask me. Moving on, we have our white Gigabyte RTX 3070. Not too much to say about this card, but it's definitely a lovely addition, as you can see, by it being white. One of the things I definitely want to point out to you guys is um, the 3090 does take a lot of watts. So you definitely want to be sure to remember to kind of dedicate maybe a power supply. Maybe you can probably only put about two on one power supply. But definitely keep in mind that um, power supplies can only use 80% of their maximum power. So if you get a 850 watt power supply realistically you can only use about 690 watts out of that 850 so that's just something to keep as a mental note all right guys we're going to go ahead and move on to the tips and tricks as well as look at some of the items you guys might want to acquire to save you some on, on that production cost all right so here we have our wall of deals each episode i'll try and include this to help you guys maybe try and save some on your production costs whether you're looking to get into or build another rig here we have is our Aeris gaming 850 watt power supply the reason why i do like this power supply is because it is a cheap gold standard power supply as well as a 10-year warranty as you guys can see on the box the best part though that i i personally like is the price which is 60 dollars, guys i was able to acquire this power supply for $60 the link is below hopefully the sale is still on but this is one of the cheapest and most efficient power supplies that I was able to find that is actually a uh, semi modular our second deal here I would definitely recommend you guys um, it's also a tip linking with the power supply you guys definitely want to remember to get a PCU splitter so a power supply unit splitter um, this will actually allow you to use more than one power supply so that you don't have to buy those 
1500 watt or 1300 watt power supplies you would actually you know be able to use two 850s and have a total of you know 1700 um that's one way of achieving or you know somewhat saving you guys or cutting back costs so i definitely would recommend one of these um you're able to get this on amazon again the link is below um it should run you about ten dollars usually that's what it runs um but definitely an essential item um linking on to that one thing i want to tell you guys to remember or try and keep in mind uh is these items do tend to break um because of heavy use so i would recommend that you guys keep extras um this does come in a pack of two fortunately so you would have an extra one lying around um if you're just making one but definitely stuff like uh 1x risers um you definitely want to keep extras of those you definitely want to keep extra uh six plus two pins um you know just things these are things that generally just wear and tear uh with with constant use um in your rig so you definitely want to try as much as possible if you need two risers get four if you need four get six you want to you know it's sort of that that standard um because you just never know and sometimes you don't want to wait those two days two extra days of shipping or waiting in three different variations moving on we do have our up here fans i was able to acquire acquire those again the links for all of these are down below i was able to acquire the up here fan for about 21 dollars on amazon uh the reason why i do personally like it is because they are rgb fans and they do come with a controller which you can also uh it also has a plug so let me just right there it has a switch so you can switch on and off your rgb um right there and it does have the settings uh in the computer if you want to sync it they do come in a pack of six by the way these uh twenty dollar up air fans come in a pack of six with the controller um our motherboard for our rig here we have our tough gaming wi-fi edition um the reason why this motherboard is so good was is because right now um i was acquiring the prime z 390 a i believe it's called um i was acquiring those before um which were definitely good however scalpers got to that so this i found is a very good alternative motherboard it does run on am uh sorry not amd um yeah it does run on risen and amd so that's something you want to keep in mind whereas the prime z3090 is an intel so it, it would save you a little bit money if you were able to find a deal on a risen 5 which we have next this is the risen 5 i believe it is the 1600 as you guys can see um i was able to actually acquire this um i believe it came for 139 so 140 it does come with a cpu fan so that is the tip that i would suggest for you to remember to buy um, when you're getting a mining rig you definitely want to remember to buy a cpu fan because sometimes the cpu might not come with the fan again you would hate to wait that one or two days um just to wait for a cpu fan um because generally motherboards won't turn on uh, or at least i'm pretty sure they won't turn on unless you have a cpu uh fan you know on top of your cpu so you definitely want to keep that in mind um and i definitely wish i knew that when i first started so with all that being said i think we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video guys don't forget to like and subscribe as it will help the channel to grow and we'll gr greatly appreciate it guys um, I know you guys do hear that fan in the background and I just want to give you guys a sneak peek of our next video which we should be uploading next week. This is our 3060 rig which has 8 3060s, um, specifically the Evga XC editions and it is running on our Prime Z390A which we were talking about earlier. So if you guys will stay tuned for our next video, we'll give you guys a sneak peek into that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Crypto Buddy. Have a good day, guys.